Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Monday, and you know what that means? Market outlook time. We're gonna take a look at this market this week, leading up to team of the season, talk about what types of market movements we could see this week, and types of content that we could see this week from EA Sports FIFA as we head into the FIFA Ultimate Team, team of the season so far, promotion. So we're gonna talk about that today, talk about what happened a little bit over the weekend, and what is currently happening with this market on a early Monday morning, late Sunday night for most of you guys. Uh, actually, what we're seeing right now is we are seeing the market rise. Uh, it looks like people are starting to buy back some of these cards that have been low all weekend. And it makes sense, right? And this is why I mentioned to you guys, I think, you know, this weekend, before we get to the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame, the lowest point was going to be at some point this weekend. And it absolutely was. Um, technically, the whole debacle that we had on Saturday, that whole like magical event, I guess is what some people have called it, where everything just went down, you know, like 20, 30, 40% in a matter of a couple hours and then rebounded uh, pretty sharply after that. You know, after that event, things got kind of low Saturday night into Sunday morning. And then most of the day on Sunday, a lot of stuff just started to rise back up again. And again, at Squad Battle Rewards tonight, we saw more card prices increasing. Uh, and it looks like people are starting to buy some cards back. Griezmann right now uh, was 114, 115 all day yesterday. Uh, he's now 1.22 on the market. So he's risen up a decent amount. A lot of the meta out of packs cards have really started to rise. If you look on the market, you're starting to see some of these guys. Di Maria, uh, I looked at him just a couple hours ago and he was like 690. I think right now he's like uh, he's like 710k, 710. So he's up, you know, 20, 30,000 coins. Where else can you see this market rise? Uh, Mbappe was 400,000 coins this morning and, and pretty much all morning. And right now it looks like he's around 420k. Uh, Neymar as well is up like 30,000 coins, I believe. I'm just giving you guys examples of what I saw today uh, of cards actually rising on this market. Neymar is 540. Uh, and how much do we have at 550? 10K up, two pages, three pages. So he's about 540,000 coins, uh, Neymar is. And he was 520K you know, just a couple hours ago. So it looks like some of the stuff has started to rebound. And if you go on the market and look at some of the other special cards, like Shapeshifters, uh, like the Shapeshifter Conte, was 610k like all day yesterday even below that at some points and i think right now he's like 640 or 650 maybe 660,000 coins for this conte card so some of the rare out of pack specials it looks like uh a lot of people have been saying to buy this weekend which i'm totally in agreement with and it looks like some of that stuff is now starting to go up and i think it's going to continue rising uh throughout this week a little bit it's not going to be a crazy amount um, but it's going to be a kind of like a rise throughout the week. Think about last week, right? Or two weeks ago when we saw the, it was actually last week when we saw all those rises on the out of packs foot birthday cards, uh, literally like the first day out of packs when, when that ended, a lot of these cards shot up uh, a lot, right? St. Maxim right now is over 1.3 mil crazy. Um, that's crazy. But remember that big rise that we had last week on Monday when everybody was feeling great about foot birthday investments because they rose so much out of packs. Um, and then they kind of just chilled there, right? Until weekend league rewards and they actually went down from there. Um, I feel like that's how this week is honestly going to be. Uh, instead of trickling down Tuesday, Wednesday, it might trickle up just a little bit uh, unless they put out some sort of big SBC trying to suck coins leading up to the promo or they drop some crazy information on us or something like that. But I don't expect that. So this week, I think you'll see a decent rise into Monday and then probably Tuesday, Wednesday, stay the same, maybe increase slightly from there as well. If we get an announcement that team of the season cards are going to be included in foot champions rewards, um, I feel like that's going to boost the market up itself because that's an announcement that I think casual players would, would see. Casual players in this game would see that announcement and they would be like, okay, that means uh, there's extra importance to this weekend league. So if we get that announcement at some point this week, I feel like that could affect the market for, you know, hardcore traders like us, because then we're going to feel like the market's going to go up more. So we might actually go out and buy some more, you know, for like a weekend league flipping type thing. I haven't bought a lot of stuff. I think I have two icons right now that I have purchased um, today that were just kind of low. I bought a Balak at 480 uh, because some of these out of packs icons, 
I think have the opportunity to rise up some this week. So I'm listing some of these guys hoping to make like 10, 20 K profit, maybe by rewards or something like that. And I've been monitoring a lot of these, the baby in the mid icons, uh, at least this past hour or so, it looks like a lot of the lower tier stuff is already starting to rebound. And that's why I'm looking at some of these icons because they haven't exactly rebounded yet. Um, but these, these cards I feel are going to do very, very good in the next couple weeks because they're middle icons. And part of me says they might not rise up that much because, you know, there's going to be a lot of team of the season cards coming out that are going to have stats better than these icon cards. Uh, but the thing, of course, with these icons is they are, they're icons, they're links, and icons just seem to play like better in game. I don't know if it's the same for you as it is for me, but, um, I do think the baby and the mid icons are going to rise well this week. Does that mean I think you should go buy them? If you see some footpin uh, prices that look really low to you uh, over these next couple of days, then by all means, take notice, um, especially on the lower tier end. I like these. I, I like this Rivaldo a lot, like around 400,000 coins or under. I bought one at 401. I'm kind of a fan of that one. I like, you know, like the, the 200 to 500K icons the most technically, um, just because they're affordable for a, a lot of people on this game. That's why I like them. But uh, just since they're out of packs and since they're rare, but still very desirable, I think they will be very good risers during this whole team of the season promo, um, during this whole time frame. So keep an eye on some of these cards if you want to try to trade with them. And I, I, I assume that we're going to see more of this rising throughout this week on, on these cards, right? Like some of these cards haven't really risen that much yet. Um, for whatever reason, Van Dyke, uh, has come down from 1.2 mil to 950 where he was on Saturday you know, he's 990 right now, so he's risen a little bit. Um, but if you look at his graph from Sunday, I mean, he was 974 in the morning. It's a slow rise kind of all day, chilling around anywhere from 970, 940, all the way up to a million coins. So um, that's that That was kind of the story of the market today. Some stuff actually started to rise back up out of the weekend. If it was a super meta card, Mbappe is 4.96. Wow, he's risen up a lot. Mooney Ions, 128. Teo Hernandez is 210. That's not that high it's actually a little bit low uh cancelo 182 so that's rising up a bit havertz is rising up a bit so some of these cards have started to rise um and if we look at some other past team of the weeks as well the shapeshifters are so so rare uh and actually right now as you're watching these cards kind of rise back up richarlison wow one two two this is a graph that i looked at earlier on stream today um on my twitch stream when i was live tonight we were looking at this graph. Richarlison this morning was 1.1 million coins Sunday morning. And he rebounded all the way back up to like 1.2 mil where he's at right now um, late Sunday night. So that's it's 120,000 coin rise in one day on some of these cards. And especially what I was mentioning with this rise is you can start to see which cards are very rare on this market and which ones are probably going to rise quicker as we get into team of the season. These shapeshifters and these other promo teams are very, very rare, but the shapeshifters especially, if you remember when they were in packs, these cards were so rare, um, like very, very rare. Marcelo actually looks kind of low right now, 1.09. Uh, what was he today? Okay, he was 107, 107.5, so that's not actually that low, but he, re he went back up to 118. Again, this is a very rare card that a lot of people want to use, and this is a card that's going to rise a lot. Uh, during the team of the season he might eventually get back up to like one two one point three million coins uh one four maybe because of the position change uh, and that's what makes these shapeshifters really different and really cool this messy right now is at two two again um i think he was at 1.9 which is crazy low on that saturday little blip uh but he's been 2.2 so he isn't really up a ton two two three oh um so again it's like a different scenario for every single different card in this game, right? Atal was 550 earlier tonight. Uh, ben Yedder was 140. Uh, Bauer was like 216, 215. So just still look around these cards. Some of them haven't risen up a ton yet, but a lot of the cards have started to trickle upwards in price. This is a card that I saw this morning. I even took a screenshot of it on a footbin. Um, I, I should have bought it, man. Looking back in hindsight, I was like, man, I should have been able to pull the trigger here. I saw this price uh, right here for uh, Holan for 1.23 mil right in the midday. And that is actually around the same price that he hit at his lowest point on Saturday during that crazy market dr uh, drop. So um, I should have definitely picked up that card there. But I don't think you're going to see any more bigger drops on these cards this week. I don't see anything that's going to make these cards drop a big amount this week. 
unless EA comes out and says something. What I'm expecting content-wise for this week, uh, to be honest, I was kind of surprised that we got this SBC today. Um, I feel like this SBC was a bit overpriced. It's cool. I love the idea of like the twins SBC thing. Um, and the, both of these cards fit a niche in this game. Brazilian left backs, you know, there's a couple of them, but not at this like value. If this SBC was only like 50, 60, 70,000 coins instead of over 100K, I would be way more interested in this SBC. Uh, but since the price point, I'm not super duper interested. But this is cool content and I rate it from EA. This is cool, but it just... The pricing needs to be a bit better in my opinion. I don't really expect anything else this week. Uh, just your normal, maybe a pack supply SBC um, for the La Liga. Have we gotten a La Liga challenge yet? I don't think we've gotten a La Liga challenge. I, I would think we're getting a La Liga challenge today on Monday. The stay and play cup is over. This goes away in two days. Basically a lot of this stuff, even these silverware twins, all this stuff is going to be gone by Friday. So I'd expect maybe an SBC or two to hold us over until then. Maybe they drop some sort of SBC that, to try to suck coins. Uh, one way they could do that, which scares me a tiny bit, is if they would drop like a mid or a base or maybe even a prime icon upgrade. That would really, really hurt fodder because fodder is now starting to drop, which I'm a huge fan of. Uh, and I want fodder to drop because the lower that it goes this week, that means the lower that it's going to end up going on Friday and Saturday during the first lightning rounds for community tots. So I'm really, really hoping that fodder continues to go down this week. So I hope that EA puts out some pack supply SBCs, to be honest. Um, and then hopefully people open them. I know that there's probably a lot of people saving for tots, but I would like to see some of these cards actually go down in price like 86 is right now. Uh, you know, I, I always look at Muller. It's like the Muller check on the, on this videos, boys. I check Muller all the time. This guy is still 18,000 coins, right? And that might even be an undercut right there. Yeah, he's still 18K. Again, I want to see these guys at 14, 15,000 coins before I'd feel really comfortable going in on them again. But we might just have to wait until lightning rounds on Saturday to do that. Um, what else can we see today? I mean, right now, if we go and look at the loading screen... Um, I think we just have 66% of the pack design, which um, for whatever reason, EA is is making content out of their pack design, revealing it first with just the, just the border and now with like two thirds of the pack design. And then they're going to give us the full thing, I'm guessing today on Monday, uh, which is, you know, I guess interesting, but they're really milking the loading screen. So I would expect to see some more market movements around what players they kind of tease in the loading screen as well uh because the voting i don't know if they're actually going to tease players because the voting ends today right i think on monday the voting ends or maybe it was today on sunday the voting for community team of the season actually ends which makes sense because ea it's got to take them a couple days to you know compile the votes to get the results and then to put the team together and then decide if they want to change it themselves because EA said to themselves that they, whoever gets the highest votes might not actually get in because EA reserves the right to change it and whatever, you know, whatever that it means to you. I just think it's, you know, typical. I don't think it's anything new. EA puts whatever players they want in any promo anyways. So, um, yeah, there's that. But um, maybe they'll start to tease players on the front screen. I don't know. Uh, but I feel like we have to get something this week, I guess. I don't think it was going to be a Champions League week for games um, I because we had those the last two weeks. Um, so, yeah, this week is probably just going to be, I guess, what EA thinks we're going to be doing on this game is going to be doing these objectives. We got the five rare gold players packs from the different leagues, which require you to play some games. Uh, so if you want 50K packs, uh, which I think, or no, you get a five gold rare Bundesliga players pack as the reward for this. Oh, this isn't even a 50K pack. This is the 50k pack objective. Um, so I guess they think people are going to be grinding for these packs this week. One thing if you do uh, want to do something this week is League SBCs. If you want to do something on the menus that does not involve gameplay, which probably a lot of you guys do, you could do League SBCs this week. Grind up some packs. Um, complete most of the SBCs if you really want to. Save maybe some of the really expensive ones for when you actually end up opening these packs and you might pack some players like... Who are some expensive silvers in League Un? Uh, I think maybe... No, not Parma. There's one team in League Un that, or uh, Serie A that's got really crazy expensive silvers. I know that like Union Berlin in the Bundesliga SBC, right? So maybe you do all of these except for... I think Dusseldorf is expensive. And maybe Union Berlin. And maybe like one other one. 
Um, so maybe you do like all of these except for those two so that you can open those packs when team of the season actually comes out. Maybe you get some players from Berlin or from the expensive teams while you're opening those packs uh, because some of the packs you get in here are like Electrum players packs that re that give out gold players. Um, so, you know, that could be your way to do it. Then you go through and you finish the league SBC, get the high rated player, and then you go back through and do the league SBC again during um, team of the season when those packs and when those cards are actually out of, actually in the game to actually try to pack more TOTS cards. So that's something you guys could be doing uh, this week. Trading wise with like other cards, I don't feel like there's going to be a lot of buying power. Um, so there might not be a lot of people on the open bids. Again, I've been encouraging a lot of you guys to get on the open bids this weekend, especially late night, because a lot of people are just waiting in anticipation for this promo um, and for the team this season to come out to see what EA does with that. So maybe you just get on some of the open bids on on, on late night informs or gold cards that are just kind of overlooked. That could be something that you get into uh, this week that is a, a very possible scenario for you to make some coins. Uh, maybe even on icons like this, man, you maybe find some open bids and you, you find some deals there. So open bids this week could be a way to trade, but I feel like there's not going to be a lot of market buying power since the people that want to buy cards are buying their teams. They're starting to see cards trickle up a little bit, and maybe that in encourages a little bit more buying throughout the week this week um, as people are thinking that, hey, maybe these, these cards don't go any lower. They just go higher. So they just want to try to get their buys in before they um, end up losing, end up buying it too high and the card continues to go up, which is happening right here with DeYoung. Wow, man. This guy was 175 like all day yesterday and now he's up 100K. Uh, crazy. That's pretty crazy. Uh, Ronaldo is up. Uh, Mbappe is rising cr uh, a crazy amount too. Like the foot birthday Mbappe, is, if we looked at it over there, it's 5 million coins now. Literally 5 million coins after he was like 4'6 two days ago. Yeah, he's like 4'9 right now. 4'9, yeah. And then the, the team of the year is still, it's 4'6 as well, man. So a lot of these cards have rebounded, which is crazy. A bit of 4920 on that one. That's a high bid. So if you got in on some of these cards earlier this weekend, it looks like Saturday night and then that, during that magical event on Saturday was the absolute lowest. Uh, but from here on out, I think this week, we're just going to see some, some stuff kind of sort of just chilling, maybe going up a little bit. I'm going to have a bunch of uploads this week talking about theoretical things based on what market movements we could see this year during TOTS, depending on how they structure it, depending on when they drop the guaranteed SBCs, what will they require for those guaranteed SBCs, when can you buy team of the season cards on a week by week basis if you want to try um, Prem cards, then if you want to try Bundesliga cards or La Liga, um, we'll be talking a lot about that stuff this week. So the, the team of the season preparation series uh, is going to be something that you want to tune into. Today, uh, or just a couple hours ago, I released the first episode about SBC fodder because that was the one I wanted to talk about the most. Uh, and if you're somebody who is just itching to do something right now, there are 83s that are low. Uh, like Sigurdsson, I think, is 1.1K or 1.2K right now. Like this kind of card, like this guy's a thousand coins right now, man. Like that's cheap. Like this is squad battle supply coming in on the market right now. Uh, but some of the 83s, if we scroll through cheapest buy rating over here on Footbin, some of these 83s that have really good links uh, are starting to get pretty low. At Sigurdsson, man, at 1K. When was the last time Sigurdsson was 1K? Is he usually one of the cheapest 83s? All right, looks like he is, but looks he's prem as well, man. So he's going to bounce up to 2.1K. He's going to bounce up to two almost 3K when we have big time SBC. So, I mean, a guy like Sigurdsson right now at 950 to 1,000 coins, maybe you get some on open bid. You know what? I don't think I have a Sigurdsson in the club, so I'm just going to stash one and send it into the club because that is a very, very cheap price. And I'll uh, stock my club with an 83 just like that right there. So some of these cards that are uh, SBC fodder have gotten low enough already, but for the higher tier stuff, I want to see them continue to drop more. So we'll be talking a lot about team of the season stuff this week, um, but it looks like the stuff we were worried the most about over the weekend, just watching like the meta special cards and out of packs, the full birthdays and that kind of stuff, uh, has, has started to rise and it looks like the absolute best buy time for those cards maybe has passed. Now, it's not to say that we we may not see some sort of panic at some point, maybe on Friday or for Premier League Tots, we might see another little bit of a sell-off, but that sell-off would be a lot more concentrated than this one uh, because some people are just going to start buying their teams because Tots is coming back and, you know, there's going to be some coins put on the market from Ultimate Tots. So 
we'll see what happens for the rest of the week this week. A lot of theoretical talking. There's tons to talk about. So these videos might end up being longer than usual. I'll do my best to keep them short and concise and to the point. But it's team of the season, man. Get excited. This is like one of the best time of the years on FIFA. I hope that EA Sports drops a bang promo. Uh, fantastic player SBCs, good values, um, upgrade SBCs, the whole shebang. They did it good last year. Do it again uh, well this year, please. EA Sports, if you're watching this, you're probably not. But hey, you know what? I'll do what I can. If you guys enjoying these videos, smash the thumbs up on them. That's your market outlook for this week. We'll be back with multiple videos throughout the week this week leading up to team of the season so far again if you have any questions drop it down below in the comments subscribe to the channel if you are new it's been nate the foot accountant i'll catch you guys later peace out